So what's up guys, how to me here, check it out to me and showing you guys the best Android floating apps 2013. By the way, you do not need root, this is a non-root device, this is the Galaxy S3 with 4.0.4. .4. I know that's not up to date, but that means you can have ICS and still be able to do this video. So, let's begin this video. check out the first app and the first app is called overlays this app is pretty cool because it allows you to have specific widgets overlaid on any application that you want different to a specific application that you open so here are all your profiles this is pretty basic you can create different profiles for different parts of the day so like if you're the person who goes to work and you want to have different widgets overlaid on different specific times then you can add this you can create profiles as many as you want but that is only included with the Full version, which costs $1.99. I am sorry to say that, but with the full version, you add unlimited application profiles and task integration. So for example, let me just go into an app. I'm just gonna check out Chrome. I made it so that Chrome, you can actually have widgets differently. So there you can see the weather. Right there, you can have that little toggle for the Wi-Fi. Turn off the Wi-Fi there, turn it back on. You can actually see the weather there. If you tap on it, nothing really happens because there's no integration, which is really nice. I like it. And it's always there. You can always zoom in and stuff and still be able to use your browser without that being in the way. And let's say if, it's in, if it is in the way, you can grab on it and you can move it around, whatever you want. You can also double tap it to delete it. And you can also, if you want, you can expand the ones that are supported. So if you want, you can expand them really huge or really small depending on what you want. The other app I have is in the YouTube app. In the YouTube app, you can see I have different settings as well. The brightness, I can lower it. Um, I can also ring it. You can see there is different for each application I open. That is because if I go into the application, you can see here, if I go into one and I click edit, you can see I have, when I open the YouTube app, it only pops up with those two widgets. And then when I open up the Chrome app, you can click edit and you only have the Wi-Fi and the other widget that I had. You can also have shortcuts, applications, scrolling down, you can have unread messages, missed calls, how much battery life you have left. Um, all of this is included in the app. Even if you don't have the full version, the free version includes it as well. Come check it out and that is overlays. All right, the next app I wanna show you guys that is included in the floatings is Tiny Apps. Now, I don't know if you guys heard of it, but it's a really nice app. Now, this is pretty simple. All you have is five different useful floating apps included in one package. So here you go, you have notes. Here you have notes, you can actually type whatever you want. Let's say you're reading some notes and you just wanna write a couple of articles here and there from the browser or something, then you can just type it in and uh, write random stuff. I love this article. And then, once you're done typing, you can actually click that little arrow up there and you can save it using those options right there. Save it, and you can name it whatever you want. I'm just gonna name it test, and then save. And then when you're gonna open up a new one, you can actually type on the one that you saved and it opens up automatically. Checking it out, you also have recorder, so you can record yourself. You can have that as well, so if you start recording, you, it starts recording. Here's the other one, you have paint, so you can draw on this one, whatever you want. So I like to basically ta draw random stuff, but you can drag around the frame at whatever you want. Your music, so it plays your music. I don't have that much music right now, but those are the two songs that I have. If you tap on it, it is gonna play. And last but not least, you can actually do a calculator, which is really nice. You can make the calculator extra small. This is great if you have an S Pen, because you can automatically just use the Ad Pen on both sides, and great if you have a tablet. Right now, I don't have a tablet, but I'll show you guys that this is a great app for all you guys who have tablets. Check that out, and that is Tiny Apps. Next app I wanna show you guys is actually Stick It, $1.79 now. I know it costs money in the Play Store, but this is a great app, and I reviewed it in my videos past. Um, if I tap on it, you can actually pop up with uh, all the settings and stuff. I'm not gonna go much into that. You can actually change the theme of the window, which is really nice, transparent, Mac OS, Windows. I like to have it over screen, but I guess I'll just go mm, Windows. Let me just show you what this app really does. So if I go into the YouTube app, for example, and if I just want to see a random video, I'll go into my videos, uploads, um, let that load there. Here I go into my most recent video. If I want, I can share this video by clicking up there, and it pops up with this. Now what I can do over here is press the Stick It app, and once I press the Stick It app, it's going to pop up in the window. What's really cool about this window is that it always stays in your home screen and it never moves. So if you play the video, and then you make it full screen, you can see there you can play it. You can just tap on it, deposit it, and move it around. Uh, it's like a little frame you can see there. You can minimize it. You minimize it, it goes into your notification. You can tap on it again, and it closes it. Or if you want it, you can tap it again, and it opens it up all over again. And it also works in landscape mode. So if you go in here, uh, maybe if I can actually do landscape mode, um, you can see there it still works. And I can make it bigger, depending on the size of the video that I want. 
Come check it out, and that is Stick It. All right, guys, at number four, we have Overscreen. Now, this is $2.49. The reason I like this app is because it's a really, really nice app for you guys who like to multitask with the browser. Now, this browser is really, really fast, and you, you have no lag here at whatsoever. You can zoom in and stuff, and it's very, very fluid. Um, up here, you can actually tap on it, and you can go wherever you want. If I go to YouTube.com, it takes me there automatically, and it still watch videos like I did before, and it's still supported. Up here, you, have, you also have all your window options. You can move all the way to the window top. You can actually have a new window. Um, if you want a new window, you can duplicate it. So that means multi-window is supported as well. Um, obviously, up here, you have those three buttons. You know what those means? This one means like make it bigger. This one means uh, delete, and this one is just minimize. So if I delete it, I take that away. Obviously, here you have that option to make your window bigger or smaller, depending on the size of your phone. It's very, very nice and easy to use. I did review it once. I'll have a link down in the description so you guys can go check out that full review. But um, this app, just to clarify, it's a very, very smooth. It's a browser that will live on top of your screen, stuff like that. It's very, very nice. Come check it out. That is over screen. All right, guys. The next app I have is called Widget Shade. This is free. The full version costs $1.96. Um, with the full version, you can have more options. I'll show you what they are later. Check this out. You see that little block right there? If I tap on that, I can actually see, you can see different widgets here. Now, in the full version, it includes different screens. So this one is only one because I only have the free version. But with the full version, you can actually swipe around. It's like another launcher on your home screen. You just need to tap on it. Very, very nice, and all the widgets do work. Here I can tap on that one, it takes me to what's right for my post. I can actually toggle now, I can toggle like settings and stuff. I can put my music right there, so if I want. You wanna add more widgets, let me just add one right here. It, it pops up with all the widgets that you want. Um, if I want to put one, for example, silent toggle, it includes it right there, and it does work like I said before. If you're going around, and you're scrolling around the browser and stuff, and you just want to go into another widget, you just swipe. You just slide your finger on the right side and it pops up with all your other widgets and then you can go back by pressing that button. Widget Shade and that is free in the Play Store. Alright guys, this last app is called Lilypad. So Lilypad HD is the first floating instant messaging slash chat app for your Android tablet or your phone. So it's a floating messaging app on top of all your home screens, apps, messaging, whatever. And you can actually message people. So if I go in here and I just, I don't know, talk to Dave, minimize this, you can actually talk to him. So uh, let's say like, hey, bro, what's, what's happening? There you go, I talked to the, I talked to Andersman and I send it to him, he can actually see my message even though I don't have Google Talk open. It's just another different app that allows me to integrate with talking to other people using this floating instant messaging app. I don't know why they don't have any others like text messaging or something like that. I, I guess they just have online, but you can see that they have all of these included. But if you want to get others and unlocked, you have to get the full version. So the full version what does cost $3, so make sure you have that. Very, very cool application. Come check it out. And that is Lilypad. All right, guys, that concludes the floating app widgets of the day. Hope you guys like this video. Make sure to click this video a thumbs up. Please make sure to hit that subscribe button up there because if you don't subscribe, then you will miss opportunities to make your phone look way better. So please note that, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Kapow!